<clears throat> Hello, everyone. Um, good afternoon. Um, I'm going to present uh, something about Horizon, and it's, it was announced as um, deep dive and customization. I will keep the customization stuff a bit shorter. We'll have a different session about uh, Horizon and um, extending Horizon on Thursday. So, what are we going to do? Um, this is the agenda, something like an overview and so on, you, you could guess. Um, who am I? Um, I'm a Horizon core con contributor since, I think, uh, January um, 2013, and one of about 10. And I'm also contributing to Fedora um, RDO and uh, Red Hat OpenStack. And of course, I'm using um, open source, m m mostly only, exclusively. So, Horizon. Um, I was trying to describe what is Horizon from, if, if you're looking from the outside. It's a whiskey application running in HTTPD, and it's, if you're using a cloud installation, it's most probably the thing you're head hitting if you're using it the first time. Um, it's the graphical interface um, um, to interact with your cloud. But on the other side, if everything goes well, you're just using it once or even twice. First time to start an instance and second time to stop an instance, that's it. Um, it's implemented in, in uh, Python uh, using the Django framework. And it's been part of OpenStack since, I'd say, since ever. Um, and unlike many, many other um, Django applications, it's um, stateless and it doesn't use a data database. If you're using, um, or if, if you're using from um, upstream installation, it, it doesn't use a database at all. Everything we, we get is uh, read from Keystone, and um, Horizon doesn't store anything. So, going a, st a step deeper into Horizon, it's mostly um, separated in two um, I'd say dashboards. Something like we are, we are focus, focusing on, on one side on projects, which is um, uh, exp expressed by the um, project dashboard. You see um, options to handle instances, images, volumes, um, networks, if, if we are talking from, um, about your own small project. Um, and lately we had additions about uh, Stacks databases and um, Sahara is, a, is our Hadoop service. So switching to admin features, um, Horizon is not about um, to set up your cloud or to configure your whole um, OpenStack um, installation. It's um, first meant to be the um, end user um, interface. Nevertheless, we have some uh, admin features, um, for example, um, identity features, which, is, um, which was broken um, up lately in, into a third uh, dashboard, but it makes sense to, to have it there. Um, you could set uh, quotas, flavors, um, you can get some statistics um, on the hypervisor board or, um, yeah. And also we have uh, the ability to um, disable um, scheduling to s um, specific hypervisors so Nova wouldn't um, spin off new instance instances on that uh, specific hypervisor. But that's the only feature I currently know which, which could be considered as um, infrastructure administrative um, command. Um, yeah. So, 
features not included in Horizon for several reasons is you cannot set up your um, cloud infrastructure. You cannot configure by um, using a graphical interface like um, adding a new keystone, adding a new Nova host or whatever. You cannot deploy any um, nodes. You cannot configure storage. And we don't support vendor-specific additions right now. There's, um, of course, every rule has an extension. Um, there's currently a router dashboard included in Horizon, which is meant to be um, a dashboard for um, a Cisco-specific um, addition. So if we are going a bit deeper, Horizon requires um, Django. Of course, it's, it's uh, made of uh, Django. Django is a um, quite cool um, framework, um, and it makes sense to, to have it, or it made, made sense to uh, create um, Horizon on top of that. It's um, quite actively um, developed, still um, active developed. Um, we have seen a release cycle of every uh, of about every nine months, and um, Horizon, yeah, well, it's it's a bit different from um, what we have in um, OpenStack. We, in OpenStack, we have um, releases every um, six months. Um, Horizon, uh, no, um, J Django has um, t uh, more frequent release, like every nine months and as well a stable release, which was um, 1.4 until October, um, April this year. Now it's 1.8. Um, we, as Horizon Upstream, currently don't support um, Django 1.8 yet. Um, the previous release of Django is still um, supported, but it will go out of support uh, when the next Django uh, release will be out. So latest Horizon you can get uh, is still running on Django 1.7, and 1.7 will, will be deprecated around uh, Christmas this year. So Horizon also uh, requires um, um, and a Django application, which um, is used to collect and uh, compress all static files sent to, to the end user, like um, JavaScript files um, are minimized and compressed and also concatenated to a single file. And th this is ju just um, something uh, this application is uh, taking care of it. And also, uh, um, it's, it could be used to um, translate, um, for example, uh, SCSS to CSS and so on. This is quite uh, pluggable, so you, you don't need to um, worry about that. And if you're up to uh, change anything in um, Horizon, you need to know. Um, static files in Django applications are directly um, copied into the source code. And um, Django has a command line ex um, option to collect all those static files and copy them to a separate um, um, place where it could be so uh, served by a, a web server. So what you, if you typically um, install Horizon, um, it would be um, all those static files will be copied to, to user, uh, user share OpenStack dashboard slash static or whatever. Um, and the, uh, the second step will be um, you need to compress them if you are um, using offline compression, which is something I would uh, recommend. Meaning um, your static files will be compressed once and then will be served uh, by your web server and not every time when web, the web server thinks it, it needs to be refreshed. 
over the um, Juno development cycle, we uh, removed all um, copied um, JavaScript files being or being considered as libraries um, to external um, packages. Uh, this is something I meant by Python stat x static foo. Um, previously, we had copies of um, JavaScript libraries um, directly in Horizon source code, which is, if you think about it just briefly, just a bad idea. So we, we removed that and uh, merged, um, moved that um, outside. And if you're adding something to Horizon, I would propose uh, to use the same, like uh, using this um, ecstatic uh, stuff. Um, it's just a wrapper and makes uh, those um, libraries available inside your um, Django application or Horizon. But where it's currently um, copied in, in your, or where it's installed, it's, it doesn't matter. Um, um, Django will take care of it and uh, will include it. So you could, uh, you could use um, system um, JavaScript um, files. So next one, we need, um, or we have an um, authentication um, mechanism. It's named uh, Django OpenStack Auth and it takes care of um, authenticating against Keystone. And um, it plugs into uh, Horizon's, um, uh, no, it, it plugs into um, Django's authentication uh, mechanism. Um, it creates a user on the fly when you log in. The user session is just dynamic. Um, it retrieves a, a user token for you and takes care of um, refreshing that token. And also it's, it's uh, used for permission checks uh, within Horizon. So finally, we need all those uh, Python clients like Python Nova client and so on. And those cli clients are um, used for um, uh, accessing the um, documented API via RESTful services. And basically all those um, clients are using the um, API the same way as um, the um, CLI uh, tools would do. So if it, if it doesn't work, if something doesn't work, first check the CLI tools if they work. If they don't work, it's obviously an um, infrastructure team, uh, infrastructure issue underneath uh, Horizon. I bet you have seen this picture once or twice or whatever. It's actually the latest picture um, I got from um, upstream from the uh, docs team, but it's, um, it shows Havana. It doesn't matter, it's just um, shows how services interact via RESTful services. And Horizon sits uh, mostly between internet and the rest of the stack. So, what's new in Kilo? Um, I was a bit astonished when I put all, all those slides together. Uh, we had uh, 34 blueprints implemented, meaning new features. But um, if you're installing Kilo, you will mostly see just three changes at all. And this is a um, heat UI improvement. Um, then um, the data processing UI was um, got, uh, received uh, visits. And we have a um, metadata um, definitions admin your, uh, UI for Glance. But um, under the hood, we had many, many changes. And they are mostly connected with um, our re-implementation of everything in AngularJS. So, um, but this is um, disabled by default. If you want to use it or give it a try, you need to edit your um, config file, deactivate the um, old launch instance, and activate manually the new launch instance um, menu or wizard. 
and then you could see um, more shiny features or more new shiny features in Horizon. And um, last but not least, we have a, a session about this on Thursday. Uh, if you're interested in that uh, or adding, in, interested in adding um, features made in AngularJS, please um, give that session a try. So, if you're installing Horizon, you mostly have just two options to configure and anything else is just uh, read from Keystone. So we, we need to know which Keystone to contact and Horizon will reach out to the Keystone and will get all the, those um, options you need to know. Uh, or, yeah. The second one is allowed hosts. Um, this is currently a security feature. Um, may be comparable to SA Linux or so. I have seen many, many installations, they just set allowed host to asterisk. asterisk. Allowed, uh, allowed hosts checks where your um, forms are um, originating from and will perform header checks on all those, um, on all uh, forms. Um, if they are coming from your Horizon host. If not, that's a bad sign. If you're allowing everything, like in the uh, first example, uh, you don't check at all. Better, you should directly insert your uh, Horizon host or you could even wildcard a, a domain, but don't insert that asterisk, asterisk yeah, there. Um, this was a big issue when we had, or when we introduced a Django 1.5. Yeah. Other options, um, in Kilo we had um, a feature introduced um, to move the um, web route to something else other than slash. And the reason for this is um, if you are installing your um, dashboard on the same host like um, you're using your keystone. You could sh install your keystone in, into your web server instead of running as a separate process and uh, Horizon uh, could uh, reuse the same uh, HTTPD. Um, both Horizon and um, Keystone are not using that many resources so it makes absolutely sense to put them on the same host. Um, OpenStack API versions could be used to force um, the usage of um, specific API um, versions. Um, in most cases, you won't need that. Um, if you are using your Horizon um, using SSL and you don't have um, bought um, SSL certificates, you could set SSL no verify, that this would um, make your clients and um, also um, Horizon not to check your SSL certificates. If, if you don't uh, dis uh, disable this, um, mostly anything will explode. Well, n n nothing really works because um, SSL check will fail for reasons. Um, you could even um, specify your own uh, certificate um, to check. Then for logging reasons, no, logging is a, a huge um, a dictionary which is very, very useful if you're um, hitting issues. And if you're in, um, enabling debug, um, your log will basically explode because it's very, very, very verbose. Horizon config, um, it's something I currently skip. And we have more options like um, Keystone specific options or um, Glance specific options. You could disable some features in Horizon. For example, if you're using um, your 
no, if, if you have your identity set up li um, by, uh, for using LDAP and your LDAP is feeding your keystone and your horizon is um, authenticating against your keystone, you are most probably unable to edit your password. So you could disable um, adding, uh, uh, changing your password in Horizon just by um, changing the um, keystone value in, in the config file. Uh, finally, um, it makes sense to add some caches. Um, <coughs> The first example will um, add a memcache um, to your um, Django application. Um, caches are used all over the application uh, just um, to store some values. The second one is uh, about the session. Um, we had issues with um, the size of sessions over I'd say the last three or four um, uh, releases. It's just the fact if you're having many, many services enabled, um, your um, cookie will get bigger and bigger. And you could hit any, any, uh, m many strange issues if you are just using the predefined um, signed cookies uh, session engine. So my recommendation is to set up a database and use um, cached um, DB session engine, um, which can contain uh, larger um, cookies than the uh, signed cookies um, engine. So finally, um, our last uh, thing about um, configuration is policy files. Um, Horizon uh, maintains a um, an additional set of um, policy files um, other than the um, underlying services. Um, that's good and bad. Um, you, you could define, uh, because it's uh, separate, you could define um, a, a separate set of um, policies. So, um, for example, you could um, allow or disallow um, a user to upload um, um, images to glance uh, where it makes sense. And um, if you're interested in po uh, policy and policy specification, you should visit that, that uh, URL um, on our docs. So up to extending. We have, uh, there, obviously, there are sev several ways to do so. So first thing which could come in mind is fork the repository and change the source code directly. If you're thinking about that, think twice and think three times or even more, it's a bad idea. Honestly, don't do that. Because if you're doing that, you're busted. Well, you, you, you are not able to upgrade anymore. Um, better would be to add a um, customized panel or a dashboard. And in most cases, uh, you don't even need uh, that. If you're up to change the look and feel, uh, or the, um, we have several ways to do that. Um, Django separates um, templates from the logic. And a, a template is to be understood like an HTML file. And also we have template tags, which um, for example is um, more logic. And um, for example, our um, menu is made um, by a um, template tag. It's just adding uh, that specific keyword and um, the menu will uh, appear. Um, I talked about um, static files and uh, styles, and this is something you should look up then. And um, I also mentioned uh, Python ecstatic something. So if you're 
up to um, add new features, you would mostly um, add a new uh, panel. Sometimes it makes sense to e even to add a new dashboard. We have all those um, commands added uh, directly in the tutorial, and I urge you to, to look that up. So I have just two examples. Left one is something we are shipping as Red Hat OpenStack Enterprise, and right one is uh, how uh, upstream looks like. And this is something you cannot um, do with, without just, uh, or with, with just um, editing um, style files. You, you need to um, change templates as well. Um, we had, uh, just a second. We had a feature um, in Kilo um, about adding um, a theming uh, feature, and this is just um, pointing the, uh, your installation up to a new um, um, location where um, CSS files are stored. And this is something you could use to um, add a different background or change the colors and so on. But you cannot change the way how uh, menus are displayed or um, even menu order. You cannot change that by just using the uh, theme fe feature. But um, there's a possibility to change uh, or hide menus or um, dashboards uh, just by adding um, a small config snippet um, to um, the local directory. And um, the example just shows to how to remove the um, info panel from the admin dashboard. This is just one example. You could, um, if you're adding a new dashboard, you could um, add how to, uh, you, could, you could even change the order uh, of your uh, panels added to the uh, dashboard. Um, when you are going to change uh, Horizon in some way, you mostly, most probably will hit some issues. And Horizon is hard to debug. So if you're getting um, a report about uh, this or that doesn't work. First thing is to check, does it work with Nova? If not, you're out of the game. It's, it's not a horizon issue. Then next option would be set debug to true and restart your web server. Remember, the log file will be very, very verbose and it will basically explode. You could... Um, use your um, logging um, dictionary to cut that down. If you have the idea it might be a Nova issue, you could just enable or increase the verbosity of Nova logging in your Horizon um, uh, log. And uh, this most probably will help you in finding the issue more, uh, more uh, faster. If it's a horizon issue and you're not unable to fix it, please um, report a bug upstream on Launchpad. Bonus point, points uh, for a reproducer, like a script or uh, easy ways to reproduce. Upstream, we cannot do much about uh, when I do this and that and that and that, and sometimes this and that happens. Well what is sometimes and how do I reproduce it. If, you, if you're sure it's a bug, but you, are, you don't have a, a reproducer yet, well, still that sometimes might help us uh, to, to get a clue how, what, what happens. And if possible, um, add, your, add a stack trace um, to that bug. So if you're unsure about anything, 
go, go online on IRC um, to our um, IRC channel, um, Horizon on Freenode. If you're sending an email to the devil list, um, tag with Horizon. As I mentioned, please report bugs. If you're adding a new feature to your uh, private instance or to your private deployment, it makes sense um, to upstream that again or send that upstream. We have a defined um, process for this, the blueprint process. Um, even if you're thinking, is my little feature worth a blueprint or whatever? Um, we have so many deployments out there and your feature, your implementation still might help anyone else. And best, if your feature is upstream, uh, you will get it back in the next release. You don't need to uh, backport it. Um, Launchpad uh, will be the um, main point of contact, but not for questions. Uh, for questions, we have ask.openstack.org, and um, hopefully that even works. Um, we have a weekly meeting at alternating times, uh, Wednesday, either on 12 or on 20 UTC. And David is quite good in announcing um, directly to the uh, mailing list. So, I most probably have many things forgotten, but I think that's for now. Any questions? I would just ask if you have any questions to please use the microphone for the sake of the recording. Thank you. I don't think that's working. There it goes. Um, do you know why the administrative like, control configuration stuff has been left out of Horizon? I figure that'd be something for like new stood up clouds that people don't really know what to do with yet. Um, you're changing mostly infrastructure um, stuff and Horizon relies on that stuff. So it's for example, if you have the ability to change your keystone setting, you're, if you're doing it wrong, you're immediately out of the game and you're unable to log in again. And um, so Horizon currently relies on having Keystone, Glance, um, and Nova installed. And if you don't have the three of all, all those, you're out of the game. Um, the rest of the options are directly read from Keystone. So Horizon reaches out for, for Keystone and um, says, hey, dear Keystone, please give me um, uh, your service catalog. Um, I would still vote not to include those options um, in Horizon, but uh, you know there's a um, a plugin or an edition uh, named uh, Tascar and Tascar UI about configuring and um, deploying um, new installations. So you could use uh, Tascar UI to um, install or deploy your new, new cloud environment, yeah. in theory. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, do you know why um, the scheduler hints aren't supported in the Nova launch instance? Pardon? Scheduler hints. Ske Nova I, I, I would say no, it's not implemented. Right, do you know why that's not? I, I, I have no idea why. Oh, okay. Uh, but um, I have a, a mental list about features uh, which should be enabled in new launch instance, but um, we are, well, new launch instance is really new and shiny currently, and um, it's marked as, as experimental for reasons, um, and I expect this to settle during the next uh, cycle. Does uh, the Horizon team struggle with like tying the GUI to a filter scheduler 
which is an option, is that part of the reason? Because they're not generic enough? No, uh, most, mostly the issue is more like um, we are uh, changing a lot of things in Horizon currently, and we simply didn't have the time to implement more new features. How would you deal with that? Like so somebody doesn't use a filter scheduler, then would the hint still make sense in Horizon? Well, um, I'm not sure if it's, if it's really an end user feature. Mm. And finally, at least some cloud um, providers don't want their users to know what's implemented or how it looks like under the hood. All right, thanks.